Hello and thanks, everybody. I'm super excited to be here at Atmosphere 21. It's probably not the first time you've heard it, but networking and security are converging. And today, I want to share with you about Aruba's edge to cloud security strategy. And in that context, I want to tell you more about how Silver Peak Edge Connect is being incorporated into Aruba's edge services platform. But for many of you, it may be the first time you've heard from me, and you may not know a lot about Silver Peak. So I want to take one slide just to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about the Silver Peak story. So I started Silver Peak in 2004. For the first decade, we focused on WAN optimization. We delivered the highest performing WAN optimization product and were a Magic Quadrant leader five times. In about 2012, 2013, we began hearing a set of questions from our customers that were common on almost every conversation. They were asking us, how does WAN optimization apply when I'm adopting Office 365? How does WAN optimization apply when I'm moving my workloads to run in, Edge, in Azure or in Amazon AWS? And as we peeled the onion with those customers, we realized these weren't just questions about WAN optimization. They were really questions about the future of networking. Customers were asking us, how could they move from a data center-centric MPLS-based WAN to a new kind of WAN that was focused on the cloud and that leveraged the internet. And so we did something really bold. We decided to take all of our R&D resources and focus on this new opportunity, which at that point didn't even have a name. But two years later, in 2015, we launched Edge Connect. And right into the middle of a really hot market with a brand new term, SD-WAN, or software-defined WAN. Now, one of the things people will tell you, I've been saying this for a long time, is that for Silver Peak, when we think about SD-WAN, yes, it's software defined. It's all software. It's API driven. It's about automation. But it's more than that. For us, it's about being self-driving. And by that, what we mean is rather than building a network by deploying across, say, 100 or 1,000 locations, 100 or 1,000 devices, and then on each device configuring tens of thousands of lines of CLI, and just hoping that if all those millions of lines of code that are out there, all those millions of lines of CLI are just right, that the network will do what I want. What about if we turned that upside down? What about if we started from a very high-level goal? How do we want the network to behave? What do we want the network to deliver for each set of applications or each set of users? And if we could catch, capture that in a single screen and then use automation and AI and machine learning to just make the network achieve those outcomes, to continuously monitor and adapt to make sure that we're always in compliance with those goals, wouldn't that be a great thing? And that was really what Edge Connect's all about. Now, self-driving, much like self-driving cars, a self-driving WAN, it's a high bar. We're not all the way yet, there yet. But that's what we've been striving towards. So you can imagine when I met Kirti around a year ago to explore the idea of the two companies coming together, I was so excited to see the alignment with his vision, the idea of simplifying network, being able to orchestrate everything, being able to bring things together in a top-down way and change from the decades-old way of doing things device by device. So, Let's move forward and talk a little bit about security. What we're seeing is that not only do companies want to change the way they build their networks from being a data center-centric implementation to accommodating the cloud, they also have to rethink their security strategy. And there's been two major changes that have happened in the last year or two that are really driving acceleration in this area. First of all, there's the work from anywhere movement. So this was something that was already happening before COVID. People were talking about bring your own device, being able to work on the road, work from anywhere. Now, with COVID and work from home, this has really accelerated. So companies are striving to find a way that they can support their employees, enabling them to be effective and work consistently, no matter whether it's on the road, 
whether it's on home, at home or whether now as we begin to return to the workplace, it's in the workplace. A second major trend that we're seeing is around digital transformation. Obviously, this is a decades-long trend, but with the advances that come with digital transformation, the ability to use sensors to collect information, to automate things, to become more efficient, there's a big proliferation of IoT devices. And with that, uh, it brings a number of security problems, a number of security challenges. So given all of these challenges, there's been a lot of innovation, not just from Aruba, but also from our peers in the industry. And along with that in innovation comes a ton of new buzzwords. Cloud-delivered security, SASE, or Secure Access Service Edge, the idea of zero-trust networking, dynamic segmentation. So what I'm going to talk to you today about is not just one of those things, or saying we do SASE or we do zero-trust networking. I want to talk to you about our comprehensive approach, which we call edge to cloud um, security. It really recognizes that security is not something that you do only in the cloud, nor do you do it only at the edge. It's about a comprehensive approach that goes all the way from the edge through to the cloud. And that's what we're going to deliver and talk about today. Now, why listen to me? Why listen to Aruba? I think you should, because everybody in the industry has a different heritage. And we've got one that's unique. Now, there are a bunch of innovators in this area, like Zscaler or Netscope, that were truly born in the cloud. And they're coming at this problem thinking, how do we solve the problem from the cloud? And what can we do in the cloud? How can we help? And how can we direct traffic to ourselves in the cloud, perhaps using agents? On the other side of the table, you've got security players that were born in the data center. People like Cisco, Palo Alto, Fortinet. They've specialized in building a perimeter around your most precious assets there in the data center, building a fortress. And now, as that perimeter is dissolving, they're thinking about how do we take our perimeter-based technology and repurpose it for a world where the cloud is more important. Now, as I said, Silver Peak and Aruba are rather unique in that we weren't born in the cloud, and honestly, we weren't born in the data center. Both our companies were born at the edge of the network, and I think that gives us a really unique perspective. And so I hope you'll hear me out here in terms of how we think about security. So the first thing is that we think of the edge as being at least as important as the data center or the cloud. In fact, we think the edge is the pivot point that enables you to make a security transformation and a WAN transformation at your pace. We allow, allow you to make this journey without compromise and doing things in a way that makes sense for you and your business and where you're at. So why is the edge so important? Well, first of all, it's where we can intercept all the traffic. We can intercept traffic from people to apps, which is one very important use case and one that you know, SASE is very focused on. But equally, we also are able to intercept all of the device traffic. And so all that IoT traffic, that, that stuff that enables digital transformation, we're also able to intercept that at the edge. And then, having intercepted that traffic, we can apply policy. So we can decide, should this traffic go to the data center or should this traffic go to the cloud? We can decide, does this traffic, should it be inspected with our own built-in firewall, our own built-in threat management system? Or is this traffic that you want to have inspected by a third-party cloud service? Or do you want us to send this to the uh, f um, firewall framework that you have in your data center? Either way, we can help you make that transition. We can help you decide which is the right approach for different segments of your traffic. And we can let you evolve that over time. This is the power of the edge. The edge is the point at which you are able to pivot from where you are today to where you want to get to. So you'll hear a lot of security pitches about where you want to get to. But often, a big piece of, of what's missing is how do you get there from where you are today? And so that's what Aruba Edge to Cloud Security is all about. Now, 
Last year, Aruba launched the Edge Services platform. The, it really takes the Edge and thinks about how do we have Edge-driven networking and divides things into three categories. Fundamentally, there's a unified infrastructure layer. So your wired and wireless LAN, your, uh, your WAN, and basically all the forms of connectivity. That's the connect layer. Then on top of that, we have an edge to cloud security layer, the protect layer. And then on top of that, we have the orchestration and analytics layer, the AI ops layer, which is where we have all of that self-driving capability coming together. And all of this is managed with Aruba Central and when necessary, available as a service. So we're bringing all of this together. And what I want to talk to you about today is this um, protect layer, the middle layer, all about edge to cloud um, security. Now, when I joined Aruba six months ago, one of the first things I had to do is start to think about how do we bring Silver Peak into the family? How do we make Edge Connect a part of ESP? How do we deliver a one plus one equals three for our customers? And we identified at that time five areas where we could innovate together. The first of those is with Aruba Central. And later on in this conference, we're going to demonstrate some of the early fruits of that effort, bringing Silver Peak in under Aruba Central. The second thing was around ClearPass and thinking about how we could bring role-based policy to complement Silver Peak's business intent overlays. The third area was to learn from Aruba and the pioneering work that they'd done in SD Branch, being able to bring SD LAN, SD WAN, and security all together in one framework. The fourth item was around unified threat management. We wanted to look at how we could bring Silver Peak into Aruba's unified threat defense system, how we could tie into the same signatures and the same threat analytics as the rest of the Aruba portfolio. And then finally, we wanted to look at how to complement all the work we were doing with AI and self-driving WAN with the AI ops layer in Aruba, bringing the two together and delivering further innovation um, in that area. And so we've made great progress in all these areas, but what I really want to focus on today is those items related to security. So coming back to those challenges we talked about, we talked about the work from anywhere challenge and the digital transformation challenge. So first here, I want to drill down a little bit into that work from anywhere challenge. On the left-hand side of the diagram, you can see a mobile user. And you know, ideally, if they're accessing cloud apps, they want to go to the cloud directly with the green dotted line. However, in today's kind of environment, typically that traffic has to be backhauled inside a data center, inside the fortress, and then back out to the cloud, and then from the cloud back to the data center, and then back to the user. This is a poor experience for that user. It's, they're going to say, hey, when I'm using this app personally, it works really well, but when I use the same app for work, it's really slow and cumbersome, and I have to type all this extra stuff before I can even get started. That's the problem that work from anywhere is there to address. How do we make things more seamless for that user? Now, there's been a lot of innovation in this area. And some of the pioneers like Zscaler and Netscope and others have proposed, instead of building a firewall around the data center, instead of ringing that data center, what about if I built a virtual ring around all of my cloud applications? And so instead of taking a detour via the data center, what if there was an agent on my device so that when I want to go out to Workday, instead of my traffic going to Workday, it goes via a cloud pop. And in that cloud pop, we apply cloud security services. This is really the fundamental idea that's triggered this whole movement towards SASE or the secure edge. Now, for different businesses, they're at different points in their journey from a data center-centric architecture to a cloud-hosted architecture. For some industries, it may be never. Maybe they always want to be on the data center-centric side. For others, they want to get to the cloud as fast as they can. So one of the fundamental values that we have at the edge as Aruba is to help you along your SASE journey at your pace. And one of the major tools that we have to do this in our SD-WAN offerings 
is what we call adaptive internet breakout. What adaptive internet breakout lets you do is decide which traffic do I break out from the branch directly through the embedded firewall and unified threat management? What traffic do I take back through my data center, like I've always done? Maybe you want to continue to inspect and log and apply a lot of scrutiny to traffic that's going to countries that you don't do business in. You don't want to outsource that to someone else. You want to own that problem and be on top of it. And then what kind of traffic do you want to get off your network and outsource the security for? So maybe people that are using well-known SaaS apps, or maybe it's well-known consumer apps. You want that off your network as soon as possible, and you're willing to have a cloud service provider do that security on your behalf. With Adaptive Internet Breakout, we let you decide by user group and by application type what approach you want to take. We let you do that network-wide with a single click, and then we let you evolve so that each month you may decide to shift your strategy, move more towards the cloud or maybe more towards outsourcing. But fundamentally, our edge gives you this ability to pivot. It gives you this ability to transform and move at your pace. Now, coming back to the second thing around digital transformation, everybody recognizes that digital transformation is driving an explosion of IoT devices. It brings a lot of advantages, all that data can drive insights and so on, but for us people in networking and security, it brings a lot of challenges. First and foremost, everybody recognizes that each IoT device is, a, is a potentially a weak link in the chain. IoT devices can be vulnerable to being hacked. And what's worse is once the hacker's into one device, they can move laterally and infect other parts of your infrastructure. So it's almost like the weakest link in the chain. If you've got just one poorly defended IoT device, it can bring down the whole system. So people have recognized that it's really important not just to defend and implement security policies to protect those devices, but to segment everything so that in the event of a breach, that breach is contained. And so segmentation and isolation of traffic is becoming a must-have. Now, there are a couple of approaches to doing this. And traditionally, what people have done to segment traffic is use VLANs. So we set up a VLAN for guest Wi-Fi, a VLAN for business applications, a VLAN for your point-of-sale terminals, a VLAN for your IoT devices. Everything's going along so far, so good. But now if we start looking inside this, and we've got all different kinds of IT, IoT devices, we've got digital displays, we're going to have a VLAN for that, surveillance cameras, another VLAN, temperature sensors, another VLAN, um, connected light bulbs, another VLAN. No, we can't do this. We can't just keep printing VLANs in order to keep all these different device types separated. It just doesn't scale. It's exponential complexity. So you may be wondering, with all this hype about SASE and Secure Access Service Edge, perhaps there's an answer in there for this IoT problem. Unfortunately, in a standard SASE offering, there isn't, because SASE offerings really depend on an agent that de deploys on your laptop or your mobile phone to provide that redirection, to redirect the traffic that would go to Workday to that cloud security offering on the way. However, for an IoT device, most of them are closed. You can't install an agent. And so there's no easy way around it. You have to intercept that traffic at the edge and apply the policy in your physical network at the edge. And so how do we, how do we solve this? With Aruba, we are bringing to the table what we call zero trust dynamic segmentation. It doesn't require a VLAN for every type of device. It lets us implement zero trust based dynamic segmentation. So what do we mean by that? Well, what we mean is that users and devices should only be able to connect with other destinations that are consistent with their role. So instead of having an IP network where any IP could talk to any other IP, which was a great idea when people were building the internet, but not such a good idea when you're trying to defend against all these threats, instead you want to turn it upside down. And so you want to make it so that for each type of role, 
what are the minimal set of things that this role should be allowed? And when that role tries to do something different, they just see a black hole. They can't see anything else in the network. So how does this work in practice? Well, if we had point of sale terminals, we can set it up so point of sale terminals can only talk to transaction processing. We can take the video cameras and say, video cameras can only talk to the surveillance head end. And a recruiter, a contract recruiter, who's in one of your locations, she can access the HR apps, whether they're in the data center or the cloud. But none of them can get across to the other things. So the recruiter can't reach the transaction processing system. If someone breaks in to the surveillance camera, they can't get to the point of sale because everything is micro-segmented. So how are we doing this? Well, for Edge Connect, what we're doing is we're augmenting our application intelligence, our application-driven policy engine, with context-based policy, adding the who, the what, the where, and the when to all of our policy decisions. We're doing this by integrating with ClearPass. So for every endpoint, we're getting information about that endpoint's role, whether it's a device or a person, what the security posture of that device or person is, what the um, device type is, a whole, extra, whole lot of extra context that we can incorporate into our policy and into our business intent overlays and become part of driving your network, part of that self-driving network. After we do this, we end up with a, um, a multi-layered segmentation strategy. So at the foundation, we have the um, underlay networks, your MPLS, your internet, your wireless, 4G, 5G, LTE, whatever it may be. And when we first introduced Edge Connect, we introduced this network virtualization layer. The idea that for each set of applications with a unique set of quality of service requirements, we could build a virtual network. And say a virtual network for real time, a virtual network for mission critical apps, a default overlay. Last year, we introduced coarse-grained network-based segmentation. So that's the idea of taking a VLAN to provide a hard boundary and tying that VLAN to firewall zones and to router verfs or virtual router and forwarding segments. We introduced this type of policy and made it different than the rest of the industry by having it orchestrated end-to-end. -end. So it's traditional security type policies but network-wide, end-to-end orchestrated. And we innovated to make sure that the routing policy and the security policy were orchestrated together so that you didn't have your routers doing one thing and the firewalls at cross-purposes with them. So this has been a big innovation for our customers and um, let us move forwards. But what we're announcing here at ATM is the next step, which is zero trust-based dynamic segmentation, where not only are we able to contain an IoT threat within the IoT bucket and stop it bleeding over into point of sale, we're able to keep each facet of your IoT offerings separate and be able to implement not just tens of security groups, but hundreds or thousands and use this micro-segmentation in a way to make you much more robust and much more resilient in the event of an inevitable breach of something somewhere in your organization. Now I want to move on to another part of our announcement, which is around unified branch security. So for a long time now, we've been innovating around security, bringing in firewall and zone-based firewall, URL filtering, and so on. Here, we are announcing the incorporation of unified threat management, and IPS IDS into Edge Connect. And what's really exciting is that we're doing it in a way that leverages Aruba's full threat management infrastructure. So we're going to be drawing down threat feeds from Central. And then as we detect anomalies and we log, we can log back up to Aruba Central into a data lake where further um, analytics and AI can be uh, deployed to ultimately determine um, what is the posture of a device? Should it be modified based on the threats that we're seeing? 
We also, of course, would let you log the threat management um, information into your choice of theme if you want to use a third party. All of this comes together under Aruba's threat management security dashboard. And so this is the beginning of what you're going to see with Silver Peak and Edge Connect coming together with Aruba. We want to provide you a consistent experience across the full range of platforms. And this security initiative is really the beginning of that. Talking about this portfolio more broadly, you know, we talked about work from anywhere, supporting the mobile user, supporting kiosks and remote testing centers and so on. So we want to bring together the industry's broadest portfolio from the VIA VPN client for the mobile worker to our micro branch offerings based on wraps and IAPs to our SD branch offer, which is really tailored for a situation where you want to transform your whole branch. You want to replace your wired and wireless LAN, and you want to have simple, easy to manage WAN all together. And you want to do this across hundreds and thousands or thousands of locations. And you're willing to go with a simplified cookie cutter approach. You're willing to go with a simplified prescriptive deployment because simplicity is what matters for you. The SD branch is really focused on that use case and unique in the industry in terms of being able to deliver a total branch transformation with one single management system under one single um, way of operating. Now, Edge Connect comes into the picture for the more complex environments where you've got sites in all different shapes and sizes. You may be making a decision about the LAN and the WAN independently, so you need maximum flexibility in terms of supporting routing protocols, supporting multicasts, doing IPv6. It also comes into play when you need advanced WAN features and you're really focused on delivering the optimum quality of service to your users, the optimum quality of experience, the optimum uptime. And so that's where Edge Connect comes in. Now, in contrast to some of our big competitors, we're not having two separate product families where never the twain shall meet, where you either go down this path or that path. No, here at Aruba, these are all under one umbrella. We want to make sure that you can build the network that suits you. So whether it's a combination of micro branches with Edge Connect or VIA plus SD branch, or SD branch and Edge Connect, we want to make sure that you have a consistent security policy, a consistent way of operating um, across the whole portfolio. And we're working hard to bring together the management systems as well. Now, at the beginning, we talked about Edge to Cloud's strategy. And so now I want to talk to you about what we really mean by edge to cloud. If you think about everything we've talked about today, we've covered off a lot of use cases. So number one, we can provide east to west micro segmentation in your remote locations with UTM if necessary to inspect traffic traveling across segments. Number two, we can break out direct to net, say for Office 365 or Zoom, you want to just get it off your systems as quickly as possible, and you trust Microsoft to handle the rest. That can go through our firewall and through our UTM infrastructure. Number three, maybe you want to backhaul that traffic to your data center and apply services there. You can apply the Aruba security stack, or in case four, you can use one of our partners' security stacks, so Palo Alto or Checkpoint or wherever you may have in your data center. Number five, you can choose to deploy our technology in, a, in the cloud, in a VPC. And you can have a SD-WAN protected first mile and then break out from those data center pops, applying Aruba security services there. And then finally, you can break out from the branch to any one of a number of our cloud-hosted security partners. So Zscaler, Netscope, Checkpoint, Prisma, there's a long list, and we're building it every day. In fact, we've announced um, with the conference a brand new way of onboarding new partners so that we can um, support whatever your uh, desired choice of cloud security vendor is. And then finally, for the mobile user, 
the mobile user can tie into your data center, they can tie into a cloud hub, or we can direct them to the security pops with our cloud-hosted security partners. So this is what we mean by edge to cloud security. We've got a full set of capabilities all the way from the edge through to the cloud. And I hope I've also convinced you that the on-prem aspects of security, the edge security, the segmentation is really, really important in today's enterprise. It's not all about the cloud. It's not all about the data center. A big part about this transformation and enabling you to make a journey at your pace is about having our capabilities at the edge. So to summarize, Aruba is your transformation partner. We're going to help you with your networking journey, going from apps hosted in the data center to apps hosted in the cloud, going from a, a situation where you're using predominantly MPLS to where you're leveraging the internet, and moving from where everything's configured by CLI to where you're able to leverage automation and AI. We also want to be your partner for your security journey, for your security transformation. So we want to help you move from DC-centric perimeter-based security, where the next-gen firewall is the anchor, to a new world where edge to cloud is what matters, where you're focused on policy and orchestration as the anchor, and using zero trust to make sure that your network is segmented so that you contain threats. In doing all of this, we want to let you move at your pace and be able to do this without sacrifice, enabling your work from home initiatives, giving your employees consistent um, and better performance, enabling um, reduced time to, um, to value, reducing your attack surface, and overall simplifying management. So we'd love to be your partner. I'm so excited that you've taken the time um, to listen to our Edge to Cloud security story today. And we're really excited about what we can do together. Thank you.